Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this little blanket. It's got pom poms and it's got these lovely little Celtic crosses in the middle. Now it's a beautiful little blanket and it is reversible. Please tie in your ends double. I tie the first two rows all around the blanket. I tie it twice through here and here and then I'll do it again. Tie them all twice because you do not want those diagonals. You don't want them to pull out of there. So they have to be tied in as tight as possible all around the edge and I do it for extra security. I tie the first two sections all around twice. In the middle I just tie it the once in the normal manner. Now, the way I got this was, I just play around with my loom. Pom-pom blanket looms have been around for a long, long, long time. So I got this design by just winding my wool around, playing around with it, putting pom-poms on, tying them in, tying them in in different manners, just to see what I could come up with. Now it's very easy just to sit with your wool and wind it around your loom and see what you come up with. So I'm going to show you how to do this little blanket. This blanket is a doll's pram size. Now please remember these blankets are for decoration only. When you get a baby pram, you get a cover with it that is the same colour as the body of the pram. These little blankets are made to decorate that top covering. They're not for wrapping your baby in. They're not for putting on the top of all the other blankets on the pram. They're only to decorate that top matching cover that comes with the pram. It's just to brighten up the top area of the pram. You have not to put them in with the baby. So I'm going to show you how to do this lovely little geometric back with the little Celtic crosses and pom-poms on the top. So let's get on with this. Right, to make this cross pom-pom blanket, that's this one here. So to make this one, I'm going to show you how I worked out to do this. So first of all, I've got my four strands of wool. Now this is black wool with a little red and coloured speckled in it. So it's just going to give it a little bit of sort of colour. So I've got four 100 gram balls of wool. I'm going to tie it on to this corner down here. You just tie yours to wherever you normally tie it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a large square grid and we're going to put two rounds on. So you miss a nail and wind up this nail. Then miss a nail up here and come down, miss a nail, come down, miss this nail and go up. So all the way around you're missing a nail. So when you get to this top corner here, just go around the corner, miss a nail, and wind your wool along that one. And keep missing a nail, and work your way down. Now don't worry if you've only got a small gap down here. Don't worry about that at all. It doesn't affect the pattern much at all. So we're going to go around the corner and we're going to go back up and around this way, filling in the gap. Now I am assuming by the time you've got to this stage of making blankets that you will know what around is, you'll know what filling the gaps means and you'll know how to cut your pom-poms as well and you'll also know how to tie it. So that's what's got to the back to the beginning, so that's the first round. So we'll do that again to make the second round. 
then kneel down here in the corner because we're going to need it again. So just wind your wool around just to secure it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put some diagonals on. Now the diagonals will want to go across these sections here. So when we tie a wool on down here in this corner, we're going to have to wind the wool on the fourth wool up. So we're going to go up to the fourth nail, so it crosses over this section. So on your loom, just go to the nail that's closest to cross over onto that section, and then it will be the fourth nail up that will wind. What we're going to do is we're going to miss a nail and go around. So what you're going to do is go up to your fourth nail. That's the way you're going to go. Go up to your fourth nail. Just make sure it's crossing over that section. Okay? Miss a nail and wind down this way diagonally. Miss a nail. Wind around that one. Miss a nail and up diagonally to that. Miss a nail up to the corner and come down diagonally so that you're crossing over these sections, miss a nail and go up and then miss a nail and come back along and you're going to that one, miss a nail and we're going to wind up, miss a nail and wind across and up the nail and around the corner. Now when now when you get to this top corner you're going to go right around the corner like this back to this section here and then you're going to follow your wool back. So go along, fill this gap in and come down Fill this gap in and go back up to so follow your wool back. Just follow it all the way back to where you started. Back to this corner here. Now we've done one round, we're going to do the next round. So just bring your wool up to this nail again. It's easier this time. You're just going to follow your wool the same way you did already. You go bring that down a little bit. You go around and follow it back. Now what you're going to do is, you can either tie your wool off here, you can either tie it here and tie it back on again at this one, or do what I do and I'm just going to run my wool along to this nail and we're going to do the same but we're going to do the diagonals this way. So we'll go up to the fourth nail, one, one, two, three, four up to that one and bring it down to the fourth one so that you're going across this dark section. It's okay for that one, just leave that one the way it is. Push all your wool down. And then you're going to miss a nail and go up. Miss a nail and come down and go up. So you're going to cross over all those sections again. 
Around the corner, when you get to the top, just go around the corner and follow the rule back. And as you follow the rule back, you fill in the gap. Back to this corner. Now I'm going to wind my rule around there because I'm going to need it again when I do the pom pom layer. So I've wound my rule on and I've just left it sitting there. Push these down. So to do the normal base, you're going to go up your first nail and around and down. Do a basic base. Just the way we normally do our base. That's weaving every nail just the way we normally do. And we're going to do three rounds. We need to get our pom poms on all the black cross sections and the way to do that is we need to do a diagonal. So you're going to miss a nail down here you're going to miss this nail. I've tied my rule on here, miss this nail and wrap on that one. So count one, two, three up, miss a nail and come down, miss a nail here and wrap this nail, miss a nail and wrap it here, miss this nail and wrap around this nail, miss this nail and go up and wrap around so that all your diagonals are in line with the only the black cross sections or whatever colour you're doing your blanket in. So you're going to miss a nail and come around. You're going to miss a nail, go up the corner, miss a nail, Sorry about that. So you're going to miss that nail. You're going to miss this nail and wrap that nail. Miss that nail. Wrap that nail. So you miss that one. Wrap that one. Miss that one. Wrap that one. Miss that one. Wrap that one. All the way up until you get to the corner. So at the corner there's no black cross section. So what you're going to do is you're going to come all the way down to here and work your way back. Just work your way back like this. Follow it around. Just like that. So you've got all your cross sections of your white are going over the black. So going over the black ones. Okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to do five rounds. Do five rounds up and down like this. So once you've got your first set done, it's easier to do the rest. So just follow around the rule and once I've done five rounds I'll come back and show you what to do next. So I'm just going to weave my way back. 
So what we're going to do now is we're going to miss one nail and come down this way and it's going to cross over this section. So now we're going to cross over all these sections that are in the black. So miss a nail and we're going to go up this one. Miss a nail here and go around this one. Miss a nail and up and come down, miss a nail, go around, miss a nail, and go up. I'm going to miss that one and come down. It keeps it on the right one. Miss that one, go around, miss that one, come up here. Miss this one, wind around this one. So you get the idea, it's miss around. So it's miss a nail and up. And wind the nail. That's a nail. We don't need to do that one. We're going to go right around the corner and follow our rule back like we did for that other diagonal. Now, if you've made fake, if you've made pom pom blankets before and you've done diagonals, you should know what to do. So now I've got it all done, what we're going to do now is I'm going to turn the board over and we're going to tie every section. Make sure when you tie it, you get right through to the bottom, especially with these sections here. Now I'm going to shuttle tie it, I've got my shuttle and I've got two strands of wool on my shuttle. So I'll turn it around this way, you can see it much, much more clearly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuttle tie it from this side. I'm going to tie all these sections all around the edge. I'm going to tie it twice. Please tie it twice. Go through here and through here and here and here. So that you tie it twice so that those diagonals don't come out. Now, when you tie this section that's got all your diagonal parts like this, you're going to tie through here, through here, and through here, and through here, and up through there. And this larger section, tie this top part here, go down here, and you're going to come up this part here. And you're going to go down there and come up this part here. And that is going to tie all those sections in. Now I've got the blanket all tied. And it makes a really nice pattern actually just like this. Now you can actually just cut it off the frame. Just cut between the nails like you would normally do. And have a really beautiful blanket like this. And this is what this side looks like. It's all tied in. So what what I did with it, I'm going to turn it back this way. Now what I did was on the large cross section, I shuttle tied. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. Just going down through here and up through here and down through here and up through here. Just imagine it being that cross like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut the pom-poms. Now the pom-poms are going to be here. We're only going to cut these sections here where we were making the pom-poms. Now it is a large area but just still cut your pom-poms nice and neat and small the way we normally always do. Just cut your pom-poms just cut your pom-poms nice and neat here, here, here and here only on this white section, on the pom-pom section so you're just going to cut nice neat little pom-poms 
just cut through this white you're not going to cut through that part and it's really easy because because it's diagonal it's really easy there's no base sort of under there for you to catch or cut so just cut your pom poms the way you normally would nice and neat nice and small just like that now i've cut my pom poms and i'm going to cut it off the frame now you just cut it in the normal manner between the two nails just cut it off between the two nails the way you normally always do now you will get a little few pieces of it now you will get a little a few pieces of scrap white when you're cutting that but don't worry about it just cut between the nails and cut the blanket off the frame all the way around. Now I'm going to do that and I'll be back and I'll show you. I'm going to fluff up my pom poms just the way I always do. I've showed you that little tip on another tutorial how to fluff up all your pom poms. So once I've done that I'll be back to show you the finished blanket. to do is just make yourself some ribbons and you can put a little ribbon down on the corner you can also thread the ribbon in and out all around it's up to you how you decorate it so that is how your little blanket is going to turn out so give it a little try all it leaves me to say is thank you for watching Please subscribe, it does give my channel great moral support. Leave a comment, give the video a thumbs up if you like it. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye!